Hello, Barbara here and welcome to another episode of Growing Leaders. Now today we are going to be talking about how to help somebody make the transition from colleague to team leader or manager when they could be managing their old team. So being promoted internally to a team leader or a manager can be a challenge at the best of times, but even more so when you have to continue to work in the same department or building as your, as your old team. So stepping away from being one of the gang is often a really difficult thing to do. Your team member might have worked in that team for a while and they might even socialise with them. Now all of a sudden their management and this could either put a strain on what once was a really good working relationship or force the individual to continue working in the same way just so that they can retain their old connections and show that nothing has actually changed. So what can you do if your team leader is still working like they're one of the gang and you want to help them with the transition to moving into their new role? So tip number one, if possible, give them a different team. Now, it might not always be possible, which is fair enough, but if you can, give them another team to manage rather than the one that they were part of. This will allow both teams to have a fresh start and not struggle with existing relationships. Tip number two, give them a chance to speak to their old team and explain their new role. So whether they're managing their existing team or they're moving on, Allow them the opportunity to speak to their colleagues about their new role, why they're excited about it, and, what they, and that they hope that their team will support them going forward. Most people are going to be really happy for the person in question and help them to succeed. Tip number three is explain how a team leader is expected to behave in your organisation. So what does behaviour look like every single day? How should they act with their team? And what do they need to be mindful of? Help them to see that they might need some boundaries at work and especially if they have to manage some performance or give some people feedback. Tip number four is support them in their transition. By giving them some support in their transition, the individual will make the changes naturally, especially if there's someone on hand to discuss potential problems as they arise. Now, by understanding how the individual is going to be feeling, you're going to be able to give them some support and the support that they need. So be empathetic with the fact that they're moving on. And for some people, this can feel quite difficult, even though it's an exciting um, opportunity for them. And they might not have actually realised that their new role would mean potentially changing how they worked with their colleagues but with the right supports and development, they'll be able to make that change with confidence. So there are my, they are, these are my tips. If you've got some tips that you can share, please do so by putting a comment underneath this video. And if you want some tips on how to grow as a leader, come and join me at barbaranixon.co.uk. See you next time. Bye.